Look what came all the way from Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, I have here before you a 1998 E36 M3 finished in the most desirable, I would say, techno violet metallic paint. And what makes this car even cooler is obviously it's a coupe, but it's a five speed manual. So I would say this spec is the cream of the crop. You have a bunch of idiots. And when I mean idiots, I'm telling you automatic convertible with 180,000 miles. $17,000. I know what I have no low ballers. If it doesn't sell by today, I'm going to bump up the price to 20,000 after I fucking clean the wheels. This market right now, if you're watching it, February, excuse me, March 2022, these things used to be like fucking $5,000, $6,000. Now, if it's a coupe manual, it's minimum 15,000. But what makes this car just a little bit more special, in my opinion, I, I think it's special because this thing has 300 thousand miles that's right but given the condition it's in it kind of shows signs of a little little wear here and there but what i love is how this car has a fucking folder of records on records i'm telling you everything from the clutch to the valve cover gaskets to the oil pan the fucking condenser like everything has been replaced in this car twice the cooling system entire cooling system upgraded radiator fucking uh, reservoirs all that good stuff has been done with documentation so this i'm basically going to respray the entire car put some nice depot euro glass style headlights get clear uh corner lights clear fog lights and put the fucking m3 lightweight gt2 wing on it i'm gonna get some ac schnitzer fucking three-piece replica rims because i'm not a fucking retard wouldn't drop four grand on a fucking 300 th even, no, i wouldn't even drop four grand on wheels period so that's not even the reason but yeah stay tuned don't believe me man what does that say right there bro Three hundred thousand. but as you can see the interior not the best condition if you saw what it looked like under these seats he swapped out for some black seats because it was pretty bad but the headliner is pretty good so my plan for this i actually want to redo the entire interior with like a um you know cinnamon brown or like a dark brown napa leather and i think that would pop out crazy on a you know fucking violet car i'll probably if i redo the headliner i don't know if i should make it black alcantara like suede or should i have it matching the leather so basically all the pillars would be wrapped all this would be wrapped in essentially you know like a mocha brown but i don't know if that'd be too extra you know i don't want to be too distasteful but when I do the headliner, I'm actually going to delete the sunroof and make this car a slick top. Even though, obviously, it's got a sun. I'm going to take the whole cassette out. And I'll probably... This plastic or metal. I'll probably just reuse this. I'll make sure it sits straight and have them put Bondo body filler inside here. And pretty much, when they respray this whole fucking car, now I'll have the coolest car. Slick top, five-speed, techno, fucking violet, metallic, goddamn amp, dude. And then guess what? In five years, I'm going to ask $40,000 for the car. Just watch. Because there's going to be idiots out there willing to pay that price. But yeah, stay tuned. Check out the 300,000 mile engine bay. So you can see he upgraded to a Mishimoto radiator. This dude went as far as to freaking upgrading the brake boot, dude. Who does that? Who does that? But yeah, everything has been sorted through on this car. Went ahead and checked the oil. Everything's good. Even though it's good, like I like to have a nice baseline, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a transmission flush, differential flush, do an oil change. That way I kinda know the intervals on everything for this car. Let's go ahead and start it up. So this has had the clutch replaced and the guy put a single flat dual mass, um, what the fuck? Single mass flywheel in there instead of like a dual mass. So it has a little bit of clutch chatter. But um, it's got the stock headers. The cats are removed. That's why the check engine light's on. It's not tuned out. Um, he got rid of the resonator and basically put a MagnaFlow muffler on it. So a little bit of rasp, but we'll go fucking drive it and see what it sounds like. All right, I got ASC off. Got it in first gear. Let's see how fast. Let's see if maybe this thing slips or spins. Damn.
taking it through the car wash. I don't care if it scratches the paint or whatever because you know I'm gonna respray the whole thing, but I wanna see this car when it's fully cleaned up. Washing my car, bro. She got a huge ass, dude. Just gotta play it cool, bro. Gotta play it cool. Okay, I can't make eye contact with her. Can't have them. Oh, they see me fucking recording myself, bro. Like a fucking retard. Oh my god, she's like right, right, right in my face, bro. Like right there, watching the window. You. <laughs> oh, I gotta fucking do it. Damn. This shit looks fucking fresh. Purple BMW, bro. Damn, that's a cool. Maybe I should tint the windshield. That's because you know the thing reflecting. If I tint the windshield violet, that'd be fucking. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Low key, if I had. Oh man, now that I'm thinking about it, I should fucking tint the windshield the same color as the car. Damn, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> 